Salto Santa Ornament. Here are the ingredients. Mix two cups of flour with one cup of salt into the mixing bowl. We're going to need water, white and red acrylic paint, some plastic bags, aluminum foil, and parchment paper. Begin by taking some white paint and putting it into a smaller bowl, and then add some water. Mix this together with your fingers and slowly add your flour and salt mixture until it is the consistency of Play-Doh. Now place the white salt dough in a plastic bag to keep it from drying out. Clean your hands, clean the bowl, and we're going to mix the red. The more red paint you put into the bowl and to the mixture, the clear or more true the red color will be. Add a little bit of water and then add your flour and salt mixture until and mix until it is the consistency of Play-Doh. I love this method because it's a lot easier to sculpt with colors than it is to paint the salt dough afterward. Once again, place the red salt dough into a plastic bag, wash your hands in bowl, now we're going to make some natural salt dough. Just place some of your flour and salt mixture, add water, and then stir until it's the consistency of Play-Doh. Roll some tin foil into an oblong ball and cover it with salt dough. This is going to be used for Santa's face and the top portion of his hat. Place the head on parchment paper. Now to make Santa's hat, take a small ball of red, flatten it out, roll it around the top of his head and mold it into a hat. Pinch it in the back and then bend it over. Always wash your hands when you change colors so that you don't transfer some of the color onto the new color. Now we're going to use a paste for attaching the beard, the hair, and the trim of the hat. Dip a paper clip into the paste and into the top of the hat. Now using a brush, put some of the paste around Santa's face and we're going to be using the white salt dough for the trim around the hat and the beard. I've got a couple tools that I like to use. You can open up a paper clip or you can use a plastic sculpting tool. I'm going to do the front and sides of Santa before I bake the mixture, but then we'll need to bake the mixture to turn it over to do the back side afterwards. For the beard, use your garlic press to make longer strands.
If your dough is dry, add a little bit of water to soften it. You're going to place the salt dough Santa on parchment paper and you're going to bake in the oven at 170 degrees. For 12 to 15 hours, making sure that you turn the Santa over halfway through or after six hours so that the back side can dry. After baking, turn the Santa over and add hair and trim to the hat on the back and then you will need to rebake the salto, not for as long though, just until the hair is firm. For accessorizing your Santa, rouge for the cheeks, permanent sharpie marker, a stylus with two metal balls on the ends, white paint, and a varnish. Use the q-tip to place rouge on the cheeks. You can also use pink or red paint for this. Dot the eyes with your sharpie marker. Place some white paint onto the stylus and place two small little white dots on the cheeks. Johnny, you want a pair of skates. Susie wants a 